When we decided to turn our urban backyard into an organic garden, we had several goals in mind. Number one was to have fun gardening. Number two was to grow a good variety of our favorite foods without using herbicides or pesticides. So how do we protect our growing crops from munching insects? Every few days we do visual spot checks and remove any unwanted insects by hand. But our main line of defense is our resident population of beneficial insects. Our garden naturally attracts ladybugs, predatory wasps, dragonflies, and the occasional praying mantis. They do a pretty good job keeping insect populations under control. But what do we do when we have an outbreak of aphids or other bugs causing real damage? That's when it's time to bring in some reinforcements. Once a year, we order a package of ladybugs over the internet. So far, they've always come with all the ladybugs alive and looking healthy. But before we release ladybugs into our garden, we followed a couple of tips to increase the chances that they would stay in our area. First, we maintain a couple of plants that will provide ladybugs with pollen to eat. Yes, ladybugs eat pollen, but only from certain plants. We grow cilantro and dill and let some of the plants flower. Chives are another crop we've added to keep ladybugs in our garden. Next, we provide a water source for the ladybugs to drink from. This year, we started using a bug bath. It's a shallow plastic bowl filled with rocks that we refill each time we water the garden. Butterflies and dragonflies will use it as well. There are also a few tips to follow to keep new ladybugs from flying off as soon as you release them. You want to water your garden ahead of time. The last thing you want is thirsty ladybugs immediately flying away looking for a drink. It's also recommended to release them in the evening. Ladybugs apparently don't fly at night. I've seen people recommend putting ladybugs in the refrigerator for several hours before releasing them to slow them down a bit, but we haven't tried that ourselves. Once everything is good to go, we scatter the ladybugs all across the garden. We try to put some on every plant we've seen aphids or mites on. It's pretty amazing how quickly they get to work. We were having some mites infesting the silks of our popcorn plants. The new ladybug zeroed in and ate them all in a matter of minutes. All in all, it's pretty easy and fun to do. Well, thanks for watching, and we hope you give Ladybug Pest Control a try. Happy gardening!